Welcome to the PDH, the Polar Distribution Hub. This is where Bass does all of its logistics operations to send goods to Antarctica. Um, come on in and we'll give you a bit of a tour. So the first stage with all goods that arrive here at the PDH um, is to sign them in and receive them through Goods In. So we receive goods that are going to Antarctica, but we also receive goods that are coming back from Antarctica. So um, the cases here that you can see recently arrived back on the Sir David Attenborough just a matter of weeks ago um, and are going to go back to their consignee in the next couple of days. And the next area we'll take you to is to the cargo packing section. So this is where all of our goods um, are shipped to Antarctica. So here in our cargo packing area, we have a variety of different goods. Everything that you need to survive and live your normal life, we also need in Antarctica. So anything from bedding, um, to supplies to run the station, light bulbs, light fittings, we ship it all and it all comes through here. So you know, we can see some bedding that we've got ready to go to King Edward Point, one of our stations in South Georgia. One of the areas that we also are always looking to improve um, within our supply chain is our sustainability. So one of the initiatives that we started this year is to use something called a load hog lid to try and reduce the amount of single-use packaging and um, particularly shrink wrap within our supply chain. A load hog lid looks to compress goods and keep them tight for shipment um, and essentially take out shrink wrap as you can see has been used here. The next area that we'll take you to and we'll show you is our long-term storage of oversized goods. Um, we have lots of weird and wacky things at Bass and our supply chain's nice and interesting. So whenever goods arrive back from Antarctica, they need storage before being deployed in their next science operation and into their mission. So we can see over here, we've got a few buoys. Um, these are used to deploy instruments um, within the ocean off of the Sir David Attenborough um, to do science research. So the final part of our storage within the PDH um, is our more standard sized, our Nita cubed items um, that we put into, into pallet racking just to get it up and make, make maximum use of the space that we've got available to us. Again, these are items that have been returned from expeditions in Antarctica. So these goods have seen, seen the harsh conditions and the weather. These are items that have arrived this year back on the Sir David Attenborough after initially being shipped in 2018. So they, they've had a few years down in the snow, they've had their tough times. Um, they're now into a bit of a better climate for them before then getting deployed back into Antarctica to do more science research. One of the other things that we do within the PDH is we hold some of our stock um, for sending south. So here you can see we've got a variety of food items from pickle to bovril, peanut butter and ketchup. All the things again that you need in your normal day-to-day -day life we send to Antarctica for those who are on station. Once we've packed all of our goods we look to dispatch them so we create, we create dispatch points so we have a little footprint here where we line up our goods that are ready to be sent and containerised and be taken down to the Sir David Attenborough. So we can see here this is a pile of goods for Ke um, King Edward Point. We've used plastic reusable crates so again trying to reduce the amount of single use plastic that we have. We line them up and once we have a container's worth of goods we pack them and then we send them, send them down to port. So the final stage, as I was saying, to get goods out of the PDH is we look to containerize and put them into their metal boxes to then go onto the SDA. The Polar Distribution Hub, it's reduced our operating costs, it's reduced the amount of carbon that we, that we emit. Um, it gives us better visibility on what goods and what products we have, what we're shipping, um, and it gives us the, the ability to squash our peak of the supply chain and just give a smoother operation to everything, which in turn just gives us more money to put back into science um, and ultimately what Bass is trying to achieve here. Yeah.